change the infill on multiple locations on a part. Have different infills on, on a component. So here I'm using Prusa Slicer and here my infill is 15%. Now to do this, I'm gonna go ahead and scale up to 500%. This way we got a nice big cube to work with. And so now what I'm gonna do is right click, add modifier. I'm gonna add a cylinder. And let's go ahead and take this cylinder, let's scale it up so it's a large cylinder. So it's, it's larger in height. There we go. Now let's go ahead and move that cylinder onto the, onto the part. We'll put it right here. And let's go right here. While it's selected, I'm going to go over here on the right side. I'm going to choose editing. I'm going to go to, I'm sorry. Add setting. No, I'm sorry. Right here. Click infill. There's the infill. And let's make this one 0%. Okay. Now, what's cool here is I'm going to take this and I'm going to copy this. Just control C, control V. Uh, I didn't, I did the word. Control C, control V. So there, you got to click on the icon. Now I'm going to change this infill to let's say 50%. Okay. Now, let's go over here and move it over. There's the other one. That's 50%. And let's just for fun, let's do another one. Copy, paste. This infill, let's set it 90%. Okay. And let's move and put it right there. So we have, now let's put it over here. So we have three, three infills. Plus, we have the 15%. So let's slice this now. Slice this model. And here you can see, if you look through it, there's the 0%. There's the 50%. There's the 90%. And there is the 15% that the model calls for. So hopefully, hopefully that answers the question on can you do multiple, uh, multiple infills within one part on the Prusa Slicer. Have a great day.